hello folks uh, hello folks today i will talk about uh, the very interesting topic graphql and how you can start get started with graphql in angular so let me give you some brief of uh, what is graphql and how you can use uh, the graphql in your angular project so let's move it to the blog so with graphql uh, we also use apollo server so uh, I means apollo server is uh, what we call data source agnostic this means that you can fetch data from any source like sql now sql database so means uh, we here we, uh, with the graphql we use apollo server also so with uh, with the help of apollo server we can fetch the data from these databases whatever the databases are sql and now sql databases and rest apis other graphql apis and or even just this json so means graphql is uh, as you can see uh, from its name like uh, it, it is a graph query language so it is similar kind of rest api uh, means uh, here uh, it has advantages over rest api uh, so let me show you one thing here Mm, so here, uh, if you want to work on GraphQL, then you also need to uh, look into the Apollo server also. So uh, firstly, let's compare uh, uh, GraphQL and REST APIs. Uh, what are the differences in between those two uh, those two uh, concepts so that you can get some understanding of what those things are. So first thing is, what is GraphQL? So it is a query language for APIs and a new way to think about APIs. It is generally used to load data from uh, a server to the client. In, uh, and it is the feature of APIs. It is also used to build APIs. Uh, Facebook developed GraphQL as an open source data query and manipulation language for APIs. And GraphQL is a syntax for requesting data and lets you specify preciously what you need. So in the in the uh, so it is basically query language. So as you know, in the REST API, uh, what uh, if you hit the API, then it will return all the data. So in the GraphQL, what uh, we have, so in the in this in the GraphQL, we can query the data what with which we need. Uh, so later I will show you the example how you can uh, how you can uh, easily understand and uh, practically. So means it is uh, uh, developed by the uh, Facebook and it is a feature of apis and this is about the graphql and what is graphdb graphdb it provides very powerful data modeling tool it is a new way to store and analyze data it is a type of nosql database that utilizes graph theory to store map and query relationship it is a collection of nodes and edges so uh, with the graphql we use graphdb and uh, with, with in this graphql we also uh, add we, we can also mutate the data we can also delete the data so all the functionality is same like the uh, other uh, rest apis uh, next is uh, currently i am covering the theory so uh, later i will uh, show you the proper example how you can use the graphql in your project so GraphQL is a query language and a set of tool uh, that operates over a single endpoint. So uh, means it has a single endpoint and on that uh, with that endpoint you can uh, over the multiple uh, end, over the multiple APIs. And in the REST API, what we have it uh, REST API is an architecture concept for network based software. REST has some limitations like multiple network requests and overfetching data. So. Uh, and uh, in the GraphQL, uh, it is a query language for solving problems when integrating APIs. <laughs> and what is REST? Uh, REST is an architectural style largely viewed as a conventional standard for designing APIs. And next is uh, uh, the GraphQL. Uh, it is deployed over HTTP using a single endpoint that provides full capabilities of the export service. <laughs> Mm, and in the rest API, in the case of rest API, it is deployed over a set of URLs where each, each of uh, them exposes a single resource so uh, here uh, let me show you one query uh, in graphql how we can query the data suppose uh, this is an api so we are uh, suppose the api so which uh, which have all the data like name id and uh, lots of things with the uh, with the entity 
so if you want to fetch any name then you can just write the name and you can easily fetch the data uh, okay okay let's move to the project let me show you the project then what things you write when there are these are the prerequisite and that in it means these packages you need to install in your project first uh, let me open the package listen so as you can see here here we have some apollo uh, angular apollo angular and get to be so these are the packages that you need uh, to run the graphql and here we have installed the graphql package As you can see here, uh, I mean, we have created a project and uh, here we have installed these libraries like Apollo Angular and uh, in lab we will install a library called Apollo Angular. It is an awesome GraphQL client to build UI component that fast data with GraphQL. So here we are using this Apollo Angular package and we have installed in our project. Install the Apollo Angular package. Now let's move to the another thing. So uh, this is the package that we have installed, and now we, it will ask you to. Uh, so here, now if, if you add means after we, you add this package, then what it will ask? It will ask the URI. It will ask the uh, your API URI means in uh, where the, all the code is deployed, where all your endpoints are. So we will be asked to provide the URL for of your Graphql server. This example, we we'll use the country's API as an awesome public endpoint. So here now we are using this API. Means the code is already deployed, the backend is already deployed, and uh, here you can see here you added to your GraphQL UI, GraphQL API. So here you just need to pass the uh, URL here, and uh, it will automatically generate. A, as you can see, uh, the command will create a new module called GraphQL module TS. So it will create a file. And automatically update all the other files with a necessary configuration imports for you. So let me show you. Means after adding this package Apollo Angular, uh, what it will do? It will uh, generate this file. It will generate this uh, module. And as you can see here, it here it has added the URL whatever you have passed here. So by default it it it, it read the code and uh, here it was you just need to configure the uh, where you want to use this. So here as you can see here, here we have configured in the providers we have passed this function create Apollo. So here as you can see here what we have done in this uh, graph module file here we have created a function in which we are uh, creating this uh, uh, memory cache and here we are creating the HTTP link. So here, uh, with this function, it is returning the link and cache, and you are passing this function to the use factory method, use factory, and here we are passing this. So now it is it is configured here. Uh, this GraphQL module, and this we have imported in the main module file, in the app module file. Now next is uh, what we have to do. Uh, so uh, so as you can see here, it is uh, means we have currently we have what we have considered we have considered a kind of we have considered a public endpoint uh, with information like countries, uh, continents, and languages. So this is, you already know means we can create the typings of uh, whatever the data is available on this component. 
now we will create two simple models for, uh, so here we are creating the model country and one for continent so here we are creating these two models let me show you mm, so here we have created two modules like uh, country and continent means this this kind of data we are getting here <coughs> next is, uh, we need to create a service <coughs> we need to create a service from where we can uh, we can uh, get the data it is uh, means this graph is similar like the get api means in the get api we are using uh, you are uh, using the get method of the http client and uh, it, it will get data uh, of, from the api so here similar like in the graphql means here we are also using that uh, so here we have created a service and here we uh, here now we created the, we create the uh, query so here we have created a query uh, that asks information about all countries so here now here uh, we are uh, uh, here we want the uh, details of countries like name capital currency emojis so it will print and uh, what on whatever the continent is so here uh, what we have done in this in this service we are using this apollo which is which is from the apollo angular which is from the apollo angular package and here uh, similar like that uh, here we are running the query uh, get countries uh, this dot apollo dot watch query so and we are passing the query whatever we have written here whatever the data we need here so it will return that data so the actual graph uh, as you can see here uh, so it firstly we uh, we need to create a query whatever the query we, we want to hit whatever the data we need so we need this data currently so we have added that query and next is uh, we have created a, a a function uh, from where we can get that data whatever the data it is so here we are passing this country's query which is written below and here we are using watch query method and it with this return the data now how you can use this uh, method so go to the component whichever component it is uh, where you want to uh, extract the data so here you just need to subscribe uh, the data from that uh, method and it will return that data it are the country data so let me show you what uh, so here uh, what data it will return so this is the component where uh, in the engine unit we have i have added the code so here now it is written this data whatever the data means here we are extracting the information whatever the is and we are written it will print in that like that the capital currency emoji and uh, name phone so these information we query we queried this information as you can see here in the query uh, let me show you the query what uh, which query we have read so we have run this query in where which returning the name capital these four information and the continent name so these are the four information and this is the continent that it is returning this is all the data it will return through the api and uh, uh, as you can see in the blog uh, this the actual graph query query is in the country's constant that we declare at the beginning of the class we will return the name capital currency emoji phone and the continent we, we then pass it to the query parameter of the watch query method and the watch query method returns the query reference object which has the value changes property that is an observable so this observable holds the actual result under the data field so that is why here uh, uh, we are using this value changes method so this watch query returns the query ref and this query object has the value changes property that that is an observable so it is returning this observable and uh, and the and the plus next is it is integrated is that method in the component so here they have integrated the uh, method in this component this countries get countries so uh, first step is basically uh, generating the uh, generating the module and uh, uh, updating the uri next uh, step is basically just to create the uh, just to create the uh, interface 
means uh, first uh, means uh, what is the API details? What are the API details? Or according to that, create interface. Then create the uh, query, whatever the parameters you need from the data. Then uh, you can here uh, run this web query method to fetch means it with this return the observable and this observable and here we are subscribing that observable and it is returning that data and now you can use that data what, what wherever you want suppose i just need only uh, name only not all the details so what you can do you can remove all the other details from here from the query then remove all other details and it is it will return only the country's name and continent So as you can see, it is returning only the name and continent name. So means according to your requirement, you can update the query, whatever it is. Let's come to the blog again. So what we have covered till now. So we have covered what is GraphQL, what is GraphDB and uh, comparison between GraphQL and the rest. And about the Apollo Angular. So this is uh, uh, enough to get a start with this uh, GraphQL. So thanks guys for watching and uh, I will uh, add all this code in the comment in the description so that you can easily find out the code. Thanks guys for watching.